Merry Christmas, everyone. I talked with my relatives because it's Christmas and uh, they were very, you know, I've cried before over like telling my teammates that the esports team that I had formed was, I, it felt like it was my baby and important to me and I cried about it. Um, this was when that team was on the verge of breaking up. It broke up. And uh, today my relatives cried about how important their family is to them. How important, like, that the only meaningful thing in their life is family. And uh, I don't think I'll ever feel that way because um, the most important thing in life to me is to minimize suffering. And um, animal suffering... It's not going to go away. Um, and that's not a good thing. But, like, seeking meaning, like, don't have to go very far for that. And I remembered that my best friend cares a lot about suffering in the family. When her brothers are in critical condition, um, she will go out of her way to help them. When her mother has a terminal illness, she will do everything in her power, sacrifice everything in her life to, to help her mother. And when there is, when she's decided to never have children and she gets pregnant, then you can't kill that life. As soon as the neurons form, that's a life, and you're obligated to save that life, raise it as a child. <clears throat> now, um, natalism, natalism aside, like, one month after a pregnancy, uh, that, that's a, that's a thinking child. It's a thinking animal. So, why don't we have that obligation of protecting life towards every innocent life? Why only our own? Why only our own children? Why only our own family? That's because of tribalism. That's an animal instinct, maternal, paternal instinct, to protect our family, to protect our own tribe. So that's what differentiates us from animals. But you know what? Animals also have that, other animals others also have that instinct, maternal instinct. So, a mother feeling that, that compulsion, that obligation to protect her child, cows feel that too. And cows, babies, as soon as they're born, they are kidnapped, um, and half of them are killed because the bulls are killed, at least in Canada. Um, especially in factory farming. I think the bulls are killed at like two months old, kidnapped at birth, if I recall. Or I, maybe they finish weaning. I, I, I'm not sure. I don't think they, they might. Or I don't think they finish weaning even. Um. And I'm I'm thinking about the obligation to save lives because, um, I I do have a sense of. Um, dysphoria. There's one thing I'm uncomfortable about. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people find um, pleasure in in believing that God guides their lives. That that if they remain spiritual, then they'll receive divine guidance. Uh, some people find a lot of meaning in dreams. Uh, that that dreams can be prophetic. Uh, that dreams help them find like their inner selves. So I'll share an experience that I had and it's embarrassing to talk about um, because, well, whenever I sleep on my back, you know, like pillow behind my head, my back on the bed, 
on the bed <clears throat> mattress. Um, it reminds me that I'm a monster. And um, so after my mom died, there was one person that I loved more than anyone else. Um, I had learned to communicate as a child. I had the vocal register to make bird sounds, and I could communicate with my bird. We could talk, and, uh, you know, if I, if I held out my finger, he knew that that was an invitation to, to come and feel my finger. He would never let my nails grow this long. He would probably chew them off. He liked chewing my nails. Um, and, uh, there was, there was a few mistakes I made. I should have bought him more spinach. I should have turned up the heater. And once when I forgot to turn up the heater, he got sick because he was waiting on the windowsill for me to come and bring him to, uh, to bed, to, well, his cage, right? Um, cause during the winters, um, I didn't know how to use the thermostat, and, uh, it was like a remote control thermostat, and you had to, like, lift something in order to, I don't know, you had to lift something, and so you couldn't actually see the temp, anyways, it was confusing, I, and, um, no one had explained it to me, and, um, my bird, I felt really bad, because my bird, got really ill because I forgot to bring him to bed. I would cover the cage with a blanket so he would feel warm. And so one night, you know, it was cold and uh, he wanted to cuddle. So uh, I would always leave the cage door open. And uh, so he, he came to cuddle, you know, called my name because he had a way of calling my name and, you know, if I would call his name, he'd fly to me, and if I would ask him to go poop, he'd go poop, and, like, um, when he was younger, he would, uh, do, like, little twirls, on, he'd, like, dive forward and do kind of like a somersault while holding, while clenching the, in his talons, he'd hold the bar and do, like, a somersault around it when he wanted, uh, out of the cage. Um, <clears throat> and he'd wait for me to eat before eating, so I'd have his, like, food. I'd, I'd eat with him. Um, I'd have his food out when I ate. I should have done that more, actually. Um, once he stopped being able to fly as well due to old age. So, I went and cuddled with my bird under the bed sheets, and, you know, who needs a romance when you have a platonic relationship? Um, And my parents, my mom was very against romance. She thought it was that one aspect of typical romance that was the source of all evil. And so that uh, chastity was the only way to go, spiritually. So I would learned that. And um, my bird, the, my bird, I would cuddle with my bird, you know. And it was cold. And uh, I went to sleep with my bird you know, snuggled in my shirt, made sure that, like, he'd be able to breathe, and I fell asleep. Uh, I was on my side, my bird was in front of me, there was no way for me to roll onto him. Or, no, 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 I think, that I think at some point I went on my back, you know, I was asleep, nice, nice beautiful dreams. When I woke up in the morning, um, Susie was crushed under my back. Um, I had I'd killed him in my sleep. Um, it wasn't like it wasn't like a divinely guided good dream. Um, I had a nice dream of crushing my bird in his in my sleep. Um, and that warmth was actually probably his dying struggles. And yeah, so last, well, when I had a nap, you know, I, I dreamt that he was struggling again. And it was actually, I woke up and it was my heart beating.
And, and, and that reminds me that I'm a utility monster. Um, I was sad because um, my cousin, who I respected, was a vegetarian. And uh, I, I don't know what happened. Maybe they entered a relationship with a meat eater and now they're not vegetarian. Uh, and that was very disappointing. very disappointing like how can how can people not feel like hypocrites when they when they value family but don't value other life 